Matthew chapter 1, the genealogy of Jesus Christ. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac. Isaac became the father of Jacob. Jacob became the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah by Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron. Hezron became the father of Ram. Ram became the father of Amminadab. Amminadab became the father of Nashon. Nashon became the father of Salmon. Salmon became the father of Boaz by Rahab. Boaz became the father of Odeb by Ruth. Odeb became the father of Jesse. Jesse became the father of King David. David became the father of Solomon by her, who had been Uriah's wife. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam. Rehoboam became the father of Abijah. Abijah became the father of Asa. Asa became the father of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat became the father of Joram. Joram became the father of Uzziah. Uzziah became the father of Jotham. Jotham became the father of Ahaz. Ahaz became the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh. Manasseh became the father of Amon. Amon became the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the exile to Babylon. After the exile to Babylon, Jeconiah became the father of Shetil. Shetil became the father of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel became the father of Ab Abud. Abud became the father of Eliakim. Eliakim became the father of Azor. Azor became the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Akim. Akim became the father of Elud. Elud became the father of Elizer. Elizer became the father of Mathen. Mathen became the father of Jacob. Jacob became the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, from whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. From David to the exile to Babylon, 14 generations and from the carrying away to Babylon to the Christ, 14 generations. The birth of Jesus Christ. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was like this. After his mother Mary was engaged to Joseph, before they came together, she was found pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, being a righteous man and not willing to make her a public example, intended to put her away secretly. But when he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take yourself Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She shall give birth to a son. You shall call his name Jesus, for it is he who shall save his people from their sins. Now all this happened that it might be fulfilled, which is spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and shall give birth to a son. They shall call his name Emmanuel, which is, being interpreted, God with us. Joseph arose from his sleep, and did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took his wife to himself, and didn't know her sexually until she had given birth to her firstborn son. He named him Jesus. And that is Matthew chapter 1.